Well, for many breast cancer survivors, the physical and emotional scars stay with them long after remission. But today, many are turning their scars into something positive. Two tattoo parlors teamed up on Frenchman Street, giving women hope and inspiration. Chris Jackman brings us the story. For Denim Springs native Lisa Ordez, getting this tattoo is empowering. She's a breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed June 8th of 2015. The road to recovery was exhausting and painful. She's now cancer free, but this visit to the parlor is not just about her. Monday I lost a friend to breast cancer. She was only 36. I'm 41. And it's going to be hard Friday to say my final goodbyes to her. Nine survivors from Louisiana to New York turned their scars into Art Tuesday at Downtown Tattoos and Piercing and Electric Ladyland on Frenchman Street. Fifteen cities took part in the event, with pinc.org donating over 60 tattoos to survivors. These shops have closed their doors, so they're not getting revenue in for till 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and they're donating over $10,000 of tattoo services. It's been really... Really cool Scott Barbier is one of the tattoo artists turning these marks into a form of healing. I mean, I think it definitely gives them a sense of maybe ownership of the scar, you know, a scar that was given to them that they didn't really want necessarily. Dr. Adam Riker at LSU New Orleans says new technology is leading the way on what's called hidden scar surgery, a new option for some breast cancer patients. We make the incision around the areola so you can hardly notice it after it heals up. And often the times we can preserve the nipple as well, so which is even better. As these ladies prepare to leave the parlor, they do so feeling uplifted, knowing they no longer have to feel ashamed or embarrassed while giving strength to others still battling the disease. Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News. And this is the second year of the P. Inc. Tattoo Day event here in New Orleans. Beautiful work.